perspective about the black people outside Africa. Yes. These people are so egoistic. Most. I'm Dennis. Good morning, Africa. Uh, good morning, Africa. <laughs> <laughs> How many countries do you have in Africa? Africa, we have around 54. So which one is the newest? I think South Sudan. Those are Africans. And there's been this debate going on whether black, whether Africans like black Americans, whether black Americans like Africans. That's an, an issue. My take is we are all we are all black, huh? We are all black. Yes. They should come visit the Africa, visit Kenya. There is a lot of opportunities here. Yes. They should leave that uh, mentality that have been told the Americans have been told that there is poverty in Africa. Yes. Yeah, we should come together. We Africans outside Africa. Yes. Africans have a rich culture yeah. and diversity. Yeah. And we as Africans, we must come together for prosperity. I think Africans who are going outside Africa mm -hmm. to seek for opportunities. Mm -hmm. Indeed, uh, there, is, there is a limited opportunity, but with, with perseverance and hard work, mm -hmm. we can still make it here in Africa. Yeah. Live, you can make it. Not wrong. Yeah. It matters. Uh, what matters is about somebody, someone's, someone's motives. Yeah. What, what are you going to do outside? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do outside? You know, people go outside for better mm -hmm. living standard, mm -hmm. to better their lives. Mm -hmm. Okay, here in Africa, mm -hmm. situations can be very difficult. More so now, the economic situation in Africa is very difficult. Mm -hmm. ah, yeah, 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 yeah. If you get a good leaders, and you know, leaders starts with the uh, us. Yeah. Start with us. Yeah. Who we are, which, who, which people do we elect? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. You know, there is a lot of corruption, there is a lot of mismanagement, misinformation. And we know we as an Africans, we are gullible. gullible. Yeah, we are gullible. Yeah. Then we don't, we don't interrogate these leaders. Mm -hmm. hmm? So we should have a voice. We should, yeah. we should have a voice to speak, we should interrogate mm. the leaders mm. on what do they want to do for African. Mm. Percentage is it's minimal. I think I think Africans are going outside, are not traveling within Africa. They are going outside Africa, Europe, America, Asia, where they believe that they live in standard and they can improve their standards. Also, if if you if you lately you've seen Kenyan ladies going to Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. where there is mistreatment, the governments of Africa must be serious to improve the economic situation in Africa. Corruption is a major disease in Africa. I cannot say, I cannot say because <laughs> I cannot say but corruption is everywhere. In, in, even in America there is corruption. Yes. But the degree varies. <laughs> but in Africa, yes. people, it is high. Yes. Every, every country is developed in some way. Sub-Saharan Africa I think it's um, Nigeria which is higher, followed by South Africa, then Kenya. But in Africa plus the North Africa, we can include Egypt, Morocco and uh, Nigeria. But that's a contentious issue. It's, the, it's their own meaning if they cannot be identified by being because they're not, they're not black. African is a person that resides and is born in Africa, the geographical part of Africa. Whether you are here and you've been born, you are an African. You, yeah. yeah, when you're born, it does not matter. You are black, you are white, yes. you are yellow. Yes. Yeah. Morning, too, man. I'm JJ. So, as a Kenyan, mm -hmm. as a, and as an African, what do you think of the black people outside Africa? Mm. As for me, my perspective about the black people outside Africa. Yes. These people are so egoistic, most of them. But well, not talking much, huh? Yes. I think everybody is just destined to a career and most of them are not outside there because because they're doing something much. It's just career or work business. I'll say somebody who left Africa for US. <laughs> I don't think I have much on that. It's their destiny. If they're born in US, they're citizens there. I don't I don't I don't think they're Africans. <laughs> they're just you know, US citizens and they're just the fact that they are black, nothing much. An African is somebody who is born in Africa, yeah. somebody with the culture, the accent, and all the taboos around that are taken us from childhood to adulthood.
the country it's in Africa. It's in Africa. But uh, the decision is government wise, so you can't judge on that. <laughs> I don't think they do, because uh, these guys don't even have the nationality to be around. But so, they have the DNA. That doesn't matter. They don't have the nationality. So if you're not born in Africa, you don't guarantee to be an African. You're just a black person. It's the same as a white born in Kenya. We are talking about a black person coming from a different country and then you asking if they they guarantee yeah they have the right portion, to, the right to have maybe land and yes and uh, accession to the country i don't yeah. think they do uh, because to them uh, yeah. where they are born i yeah. think that is where they are supposed to get the inheritance yes yeah so uh, recently ghana allowed for black americans to come and live in ghana do you think it was a wise decision it's wise you know it's government wise you can't judge as i'm saying yes uh, everything depends on the government of the power. Genuinely, we are brothers. I don't think there's much to know about this. Eh? Everybody has what they do for their day. Everybody has what they they always up to every time. So I, I don't think I have much to offer to them. We share the same melanin. My name is David. De Good morning, Africa. <laughs> Black people living outside Africa. Yes. Well, um. Well, they, they they had their struggle. I bet you know. I mean, they had um, those they were taken from Africa, taken to that side. Mm. Um, but there's also that uh, type of vibe that they give us. You know, like mm -hmm. um, they don't. Actually, most of the they they are, I think be, I believe that black people are in the U.S. and everywhere else are more racist than the whites towards Africans. Um, they is, they've had, they were in slavery, mm -hmm. um, picked out, picked from their homelands, taken to a different place. They, for, for I think it's almost 200 years. That, that was a struggle and you know, it's, it's, it's true. We also had our struggle here. We, people came to our land, took our land um, and colonized us for almost 100 years. Yes. So I do believe that both, both have had their struggle here. Africans go to the to the US mm -hmm. and even Africans are like biased against the blacks in, in the US or on the in the UK because of gang violence and all but also there is this type of um, racial discrimination against Africans mm -hmm. from Africa mm -hmm. uh, there, are, there are also Africans who are against African but I mean like black um, black people living mm -hmm. in the UK, in the US, yeah. um, in Australia, yeah. the, there is that bias. I don't want to generalize, but I believe that um, the ones who were back here are the ones who uh, sold them off to these white ships and white traders who mm -hmm. came to back then. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, it, that, that's a very huge generalization that actually doesn't work most of the time. Mm -hmm. I think Ghana. Ghana is more welcoming because they are repatriating. I think they have a campaign. They are going back home or something. Mm 